Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi, young mathematicians. This is Mr. Woods. And today we're going to be looking at what ordered pairs are. And you're like, what are ordered pairs, Mr. Woods? Well, let's take a look. First, you have to have an understanding of what a coordinate grid is. So a coordinate grid is sometimes referred to as the Cartesian grid, a coordinate plane, the Cartesian plane, a regular coordinate plane, uh, rectangular coordinate plane. There's so many different names for it. But one way you can distinguish it is that it has right here has a horizontal line. It's usually called the X axis. And then the vertical line is the Y axis. And right here they meet, they intersect at one point. Another portion of the this coordinate grid or the coordinate plane it has two axes again. The X axis which is horizontal, the Y axis is vertical, but also right here is the origin. That's where those two uh, lines intersect. And that's usually zero. And the coordinates for that is zero, zero. And this is the coordinate pair for the origin, zero, zero. Now we can get into what is an ordered pair. Well, an ordered pair is a composition of the X coordinate and the Y coordinate, having two values written in a fixed order with parentheses. That's this right here. And if you notice, it's X, Y. Well, that is the pattern for the coordinate pair. We always put down the X value, which is the horizontal value first, which on this X axis, and then the vertical value or the Y axis value, X, Y. What this does is it helps to locate a point on the Cartesian plane for better visual comprehension. The numeric value in an ordered pair can be integers or fractions. An ordered pair is a composition, again, of the, that X and Y coordinate. Let's take a look at an example here. So we have this point A, okay, and we know we need to go in X, Y. So X, I'm going to put this over here, X, Y. Now, what that tells me is I need to go in the X direction first. So I'm going to draw this line here so we know where we're going. There we go. So that's approximately. So we're pointing to the areas. So we can count over one, two, three, four. So the x coordinate for point A is four. And then the y coordinate is one, two, three, four, five, six. Four, six. And we can write A equals four, six. And that's the coordinate pair for A point A. Let's do some practice. It reads here, use coordinate grid W to write an ordered pair for the given point. Well, here's coordinate grid W, which is this here, and you see all these points, point A, E, C, B, F, and D. Over here, we have to find the coordinate for B. So let's find B. So here's B. I'm going to draw a line down here and across so we can have a better idea of where to count to. And again, we're doing, I'm going to put this x, y over here, just as a reminder what we're going. So x first and y second. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, five here. And then we're going to go up the vertical axis or that y axis. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So b is located, I should say point B is located at 5 comma 7. X is equal to 5 and Y is equal to 7. Let's take a look at point D. Where's point D? Right here. Here we go. Point D. Again, I like doing this, you know, drawing that line down to the, the axes so we have a better idea of where we're at. So let's count the X axes first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, that's that X comes first, there's nine. Then one, two, three is the Y or vertical axis. So that's nine, three. That's where point D is. Now we need to find point E. So point E is right here. And again, I'm gonna draw that line down to my axes. 
and one over to the y-axis. So let's count it over. One, two, three. And then we're going up one, two, three, four on the y-axis. So three, four. See how we can find all of these points using the number line there that's in the horizontal and in the y-axis to find that coordinate pair. Now here's some more practice. It says plot then label the points on coordinate grid A. Well what we have here is we have the you know this one here number four says K. So that's going to tell me point K is located at the coordinate pair of 0, 4. And remember we start out here with X and Y so that 0 is going to be X and y is equal to 4. Let's take a look here. So x is 0. So we're not moving anywhere. See, it's, it, it, we don't go to the right. We don't go to the left. It's just stay right here, right at the origin. And then we count up. 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm going to do a nice dot there. And I'm going to label that as point K. Now let's look at number 5 here. Where I have point L and it's located at the XY coordinate, so XY of 2, 1 or 2, 1. That's my coordinate pair. So I start out with X first. 1, 2. Okay, and then I go up 1 for the Y. Do that. I'm going to label that point. There's my la there's L. Let's take a look at number 6 here. Where I have point M, again, X, Y, that's my coordinate pair order. So 6, 5. So X is 6 and Y is equal to 5. Let's take a look at here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. And then I go up 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And again, I want to label that M. So that's my point M. So I have KLM as my three points. Let's continue our ordered pair practice. Over here it reads, which building is at the ordered pair below? Let's take a look at number seven. So we have that parentheses five comma six parentheses. And we know that this is the order it's in, X and Y. See how I keep on doing this? I want you to get in the practice of doing that so it's as a reminder as to that x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 6. Let's count this out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I'm going to go up 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Look at that. I'm 6 over right there. And that's the lifeguard. So I'm going to write down LG for lifeguard. Let's look at the next pair. So I have, again, I want to do that X and Y. I'm practicing this so that I know where I'm going. So X is equal to nine and Y is equal to eight. Count over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then I'm going to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's that eight. It's right in the line here and I know that that is the bank. Just going to put a B for bank. There we go. Next coordinate pair is 3, 3. Again, X, Y, get those parentheses around it. There we go. X is equal to 3 and Y is equal to 3. Count it over. 1, 2, 3. Go up. 1, 2, 3. And I know that is the school. Now we're going to continue our ordered pair practice. But look at this. It says, what is the distance between? What do they mean by distance? Well, we know that this is one unit, two units, three units, four units, five units. If I put down there that the x-axis is equal to inches or miles or feet, that could be an idea of what the distance is. So without anything, it's going to be units. So it's just, I'm just going to put u for units. And I'll just write it out, units. So let's take a look. It's looking for the crab shack and the bank. So right here we have the crab shack and the bank. Ooh, they're on the same level, the horizontal line there. So it's all at y is equal to eight right here. But we're starting off at, and I'm gonna draw these 
coordinate pairs. So it's x is 1, 2, right here. So that means it's going to be 2. And then the y axis is 8, because it's right here. There we go. Let me just do that 2, 8. Now let's look at the bank. Let's just draw a line from the bank all the way down to the x-axis there so we know that it's nine here we know that it's eight in the y so we can write it out as nine comma eight so there's the y-axis are the same but the x-axis have have a change in it that's going to be our distance between point k for crab shack and point b for the bank so what we can do is we can look at this and we can go, well, wait a minute. I have 9, comma, 8. And I'm going to subtract 2, comma, 8. And we're going to find, and again, this is x and y. What we're going to do is we're going to find that the the eights are going to be zero because that's they're at the same level so that's just going to be zero but nine minus two is seven and if we look at the units here it's just units it's just u so the distance between the crab shack and the bank is seven units i'm just going to put units now let's take a look at What's going on with the bank and the post office? Well, here we have the bank, and we know the bank is at 9, 8, and the post office, let's take a look. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so that's that X is 9, and the Y is 1, 2, 3. Y is 3. Hmm, a little bit different, because now we're, we're measuring distance in the Y direction, Again, let's do that 9, 8, which is the bank's x, y, and then the post office is 9, 3. And I'm going to subtract those. So 8 minus 3 is 5. And 9 minus 9 is 0. So there's no change in the x direction but there is a change in the y direction of five units it says let's practice but this is where i want you to pause the video and practice take a moment to look at this come up with your answers whether it's a b c or d for number eight or A, B, C, D for number nine. Go. Okay, welcome back. It says here, which ordered pair describes the location of the park? Well, where's the park? Ah, right here. So I'm gonna draw a line down to the X axis and a line over to the Y axis. Makes it easier to count. So here we go, one, two, three, four. So the park is at four. That's my X axis. And then Y is one, two, four, two. What is it for number nine? Five units, six units, seven units, nine units. Let's take a look. Welcome back. Let's take a look here again. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, because that's lining up right here with the Mercado. And then I'm gonna take this line over to the Y axis. So I know it's nine over. There's starting my X coordinate pair. And then over here, I can just say eight, but let's count up anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just to verify, yes, it is eight. That's my final answer. But we have to find it for the school as well. Remember, because we're looking at the school and the Mercado. So again, we come over here to nine, or I'm gonna do that yellow line. I'm gonna go cross over here. So we have nine for the school, for the X axis. And then I go up one, two, for the Y axis. 
let's subtract to get our distance between the school and the Mercado. So I have 9, 8, which is the Mercado, the location of the Mercado, and 9, 2, which is the location of the school. And I'm going to subtract all of that. 8 minus 2 is 6, and 9 minus 9 is 0. So there's no change in the x-axis, but there's a change in the y-axis, which is 6 units. Now, can we find that? Right here. There's 6 units. That's it for today for your introduction to what a coordinate pairs are and the Cartesian grid or the plane. Uh, let's keep it going. There's going to be more on this and you're going to learn how to do it. I'm Mr. Woods. Have a great day and remember to be a math person. All you have to be is a person that does math.